field. Damn. Uh. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, well. well, thank you for Good. tuting in to the F5 Recovery Radio. It's one pretty Ricky. I'm my co-host Adam Martin. Yo, what up? Got Scott College. Hi. <laughs> Got Kirsten Uvin in. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Super grateful and thankful that we're able to be here today and join each other's company and other great awesome time here in this amazing space but of course none of this would be possible without some awesome sponsors uh h and i nutrition for this fantastic uh space that we have of course f5 project the ridge treatment and reentry center uh go away with bear.com uh barney's is a pub and eatery mm-hmm. yep. yep and I'm back sc- i'm gonna scroll back. back is back. it did we ever find out is it back, back? to construction back, back. it is back construction. not back yeah, B A K. Oops, sorry. Right. Stepped on your toes. <laughs> Bach construction. I don't know. It's I'll ask good. him today. I always Bach? say that every week, but I'm gonna <laughs> ask him. And then... I like back to, back to. Let's get back to construction. Sounds oh. good. Oh, yeah. then that song is stuck in my head yeah. all day. All back day to long. life. Back, yeah. back to the reality. Oh. Anyway, oh now it's stuck. <laughs> I got now it's stuck. In me today. <laughs> yeah. We're ready That's to rock good. and roll. How is it that his whole language and demeanor changes as soon as we hit record? <laughs> You're like, hello, sir. How's it going? And he's like, back to life. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. It's probably because you're hanging out with Ricky. It is. Yeah. Why do you change friend. who you are when you're around Ricky? I don't okay, change. I'm always, yeah, I'm always been always this like guy. Oh. Yeah, around you. No, oh, I guess you don't know what he's like when he's not around you. Oh, yeah. Ricky just gets the fun version of Scott. Mm. Mm. You get the serious. <laughs> <laughs> we got business to do. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and that's our show for today. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, finances is the topic. Yeah, man, it's your finances. Lead it. Mm hmm. So, uh, it's been the reason why, obviously, I always try to, like, think of relevant topics for us to talk about, but I always take it, try to take it from, like, personal life and things. So, in the summertime, especially in the past, like, two weeks, been, like, on vacation, so I was gone last week, and just different things. It's been more of, like, I don't know, you guys all have partners kind of having that, like, talk of, like, okay, where are we at? You know, retirement, savings, just all these different things. Ooh. And I remember, like, we've never had that conversation. You never had that conversation? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, really, Scott? <laughs> but just, like, like, what is that? Like, just kind of kick it off to something, like, easy. Like, what is that conversation like when, obviously, being in recovery, kind of having that conversation of, like, with your partner of, you know, what is that like when you're, like, talking about finances and different things? Is it easy? Is it harder? I don't know. I never had the conversation when I was like <laughs> active because I was like, I'm not talking about shit. I buried my head in the sand. Yeah. It's it's hard. For me, it's an uncomfortable mm-hmm. conversation sometimes. So just because I haven't done, yeah, I haven't done a very good job of saving. I'm just like, I tell my kids all the time, you're not going to have to worry about spending my inheritance because <laughs> there ain't going to be none. I'd rather enjoy t- life and do the things I'm doing and. Sure. You know, I guess for me, I wish if there's any advice I could give to somebody that's newly sober and young mm-hmm. that to start saving, you know, mm-hmm. have a retirement plan. Because I wish mm-hmm. stack racks. Yep. I don't and know he, what that means. That's the clip. He's talking about not talking about weights. <laughs> well, not weights. No, I'm talking about money weight. Right. Oh, stack the racks. There you, that's good. Money weight. Money weight. What? Oh, I thought racks was something different. Yep. One time when I was mm. kayaking around our lake, this guy on the shore yelled, nice rack. And I was like, yeah, thanks, man. That's really. And then I realized he said, nice kayak. And so then I felt <laughs> really dumb and I paddled as fast as I could to get back. <laughs> I think the best thing about this podcast is it can go with zero to 60 in less than a second. Yep. Um, and you never know what direction. And it never anyway. it's going. Just a thought. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and to the guy that thought you had a nice kayak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of never knew he'd be on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he never knew he'd make it. He was just being a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It would have been nice either way, but. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. 
about for you, Kirsten? Is it easy? Is it hard? Like, um, well, I feel like for Kirsten, it's like she can talk about anything. I can actually. Mm -hmm. Um, so where do I begin? (laughs) I think that like when it when I first got sober and they said like financial, what is the line? Financial insecurity Insecurity will leave leave you, or blah blah blah. Well, it did not. It haunted me, and Mm. I was um. That's when I was working and Matt was working. We had little kids. Uh, but w- when you first got sober, I thought my finances would never correct themselves. Like mm. n- I would never get ahead. I would always be like, okay, do I have change for cigarettes? You know, um, back when old golds were a dollar. Oh, that's dating. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I think that, like, the more I worried about it, the more it became a problem. And then mm. I got married. And when I got married to Matt, he was not financially responsible or stable. And he had a difficult time keeping the same job for a little bit of time. He definitely didn't have a gray beard. He did not. Yeah. We were no. talking about that outside because I shaved my beard. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, it was getting really gray. And she was like, well, gray means you have a 401k. <laughs> that does. means security to yeah. me. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> but <laughs> then, anyway, so I would stress myself out over money till I was like in tears. Like yeah. it would become so, I would be so overwhelmed by it. Just thinking we're never going to get ahead. We're never going to get ahead. And Matt was like, we're going to be fine. In fact, I forgot to tell you, I bought a truck three months ago, and I've been hiding it in my buddy's garage. But I'm sure we'll be all right. I mean, stuff like that That would come up. And so I just think, oh, my gosh, we are working against each other, you know. And so to have those conversations, it was not always (laughs) smooth. We did not agree all the time. In fact, I... At Still least it think wasn't those like were a poor dog choices. or something. I bought a dog. I've been keeping it in the <laughs> garage for three my buddy's months. House. My buddy's garage. Yeah. Would have been cheaper. Yeah. Well, they're expensive. <laughs> yeah. True. Dogs but after <clears throat> several trucks. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that didn't happen once. Like, oh, this there is were many trucks. <laughs> many trucks. Anyway. That, that he hid every time? <laughs> yeah. Because he just grew up like, if you have money, spend it right now. You know, before mm. somebody takes it away. And so he would do that. And then I'm like, okay, but we have bills. And then I just became resentful. I mean, it just got to be such a way too big of a thing. Mm-hmm. And um, and it just stressed me out so much that one day I just said, I can't do this anymore. You have to do our bills. Which at the moment I thought... This is probably the dumbest thing I could do ever right now is to hand this over to Matt. But um, it's been amazing. All our bills get paid. I don't even know what we have. I just ask if I can get stuff and then he'll say yes or no. I just can't know or it stresses me out. But I think that like a lot of that is like finding some spiritual connection, which sounds like it's unrelated, but... To just relax and let it be Mm -hmm. and know that, like, we're moving in the right direction. We have the same goals. Nobody's lying about buying things. You know what I mean? Like, we're doing okay. We're on the same page now. And he's much more relaxed about it than me. Mm, So he has got the skills and now he can keep a job and all that stuff. So he's not new anymore. He's out there killing it. He is killing it. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think part of that might have been... By you letting go of it and him having to be responsible for it, that it it caused him to say, wait a minute, I need to be on track with the bills and stuff. Because before, maybe he wasn't right. doing the bills, so he didn't see it. Yeah. So he didn't see the effect it had until after he got had to be responsible for it. Yeah. It's kind of like kids. And he was older and like, More yeah. sober. And, and I think like having me be stressed out all the time, wasn't fun for him either. So it was a win-win. Yeah. yeah. But, and then we didn't have tiny kids and little jobs and I wasn't in college. You know what I mean? All those things. But Mm -hmm. we don't, our money's not separate. We have like just family money. 
which is awesome because I don't bring a lot in anymore. <laughs> Can't sell, you know, bacon cookies isn't paying the bills. Bacon but pies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, like, uh, we don't have an allowance, nothing weird like that. Um, not that that's weird, but it would be for me. Uh, Here you go, Kirsten. Here's your Good supper. job last week. No, 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 no. Here's your $50. Nope. No, it's our money, and so yeah. we decide what to do with it together and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, money is a hard topic to talk about Yeah, mm-hmm. initially. We sure talk about Matt a lot on this show, mm-hmm. and we've never, he's never been on the show. <laughs> and I, I know there's got to be people who listen to this, and they just wonder what he looks like. Yeah. He's like my material. Like, that's where I get all my material. <laughs> <laughs> He's very we tall. Should, we should bring him on Would he as come a on? guest. We should. Him and his mustache. He would yeah. love that. Yeah, okay. he likes I talking we'll about give, We'll give right, Kirsten the day off. Yep. <laughs> and have Matt come oh, no. on and tell we us the real story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, she's like, I'm no, no, yeah, we're not doing on it. We share in a <laughs> podcast too. We share our yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, I want have to know that he's not being dishonest about something. Well, you can listen. Recording it. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll make sure it'll be a face. It'll be FBL. We'll do a we'll Facebook, FBL live. The shit Facebook out of live with Matt. And that way All right, can, that would be fabulous. You He'd every love it. Thing he says if yeah. you want. You could be. <laughs> can I have a buzzer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. know if you can. <laughs> Man, women are like that. They, you, hmm. yes. Yep. With what? With correcting. Yeah. Because sure. the guy will, you know, sometimes they they glorify things a little bit, or they might oh. embellish. And there's always a woman right there. I don't know make, that that's I, women. I don't give a shit, Scott. Careful. I no. don't know. Careful. I'm, Careful. I've been thinking a lot about this. I think it's okay, like... Okay, how about those finances? No, no, we're not changing the topic. I want to know why women feel the need to correct men in front of people. I don't know, because Matt does that to me, because I love a story. So I paint oh. a big picture, and then Matt's like, no, that was only like twice, not 12 times. I'm like, God, well, that doesn't sound great at yeah. all. Why are you doing that, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Just to make me so look So maybe dumb. it's not just women. Just let, let, let a person have their moment. Yeah. It's a story, man. Yeah, you're just yeah. a story. It's just a story. But it, just storytelling. Maybe it's just a part. I think it's a partner thing. Like, the partner never wants you to be like... It's like, come on now. It's like, but like, Jessica will do that. Like, I'll tell a story. She'd be like, that's not how it happened at all. Yeah, but you're not lying. You're just, you're just telling a story. Yeah. My version. Yeah. yeah. But not for her. She thinks it's lying. She's like, no, tell them. Like, when you say so, so, something like, man, it felt like it was 12 times. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah. was only two. What's your preference? But it, it felt, felt like, like it was yeah. 12 yeah. times. Like, yeah. you're, you're just <laughs> telling a story. You're not like embellishing it. You're just, yeah. you're, you're, you're making it fun. Mm-hmm. And why to not tell- correct me later, not in front of people, yeah. so I don't look like a jackhole. <laughs> now all my stories are crap, huh? Now everyone thinks that it's never been 12 <laughs> times. Like, it ne- I never said it was. Yeah. Just I just it said felt it felt like. like. It. Mm. So it's not just women, because Matt's not a woman, right? No, but he's brutally honest. I'm trying to change that. Yeah. Yes. You should lie more. Yeah. Yeah. It's also the same way. No, it's how to it's spare people's feelings and stuff more. like that. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. not lying. What is life other than good stories? Come on. Yeah. I'll, well, it's your story. You can tell it any way you want. Yeah. So that's. Amen. Yeah. Well, your partner is going to be the one who'll be like, all right, that's not how it happened. Like when I bullshit. tell. What? I say bullshit. What? I don't think so. You say bullshit to what? That your partner should. You should be. They should be correcting us. If it's our story, we should be able to tell it the way we want. Okay. That's something you got to figure out. Oh, now you're going to come out? <laughs> you're just telling me to be careful. No, 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 you're no, gonna no, no. I was you're saying about, was about flag. Flag. You it were saying that. about women. You were going on a women thing, and I'm yeah. like, okay, let's pull. So this just clarifies. It's just not oh, women okay. all so the time. you're saying partner. Right. Okay. I used to be like that, too, like correct people all the time, and I found that sometimes it's just better to keep your mouth shut. Just so we're clear, I said women because that's what I date. Like I'm not, I'm yeah. not saying that. Not I like I don't have do experience that. with men correcting me. Like, yeah. Well, now Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you got Ricky over here. <laughs> That's not the way you told me the story went down. What? That's the way he's telling it. 
It is how you tell it. Scotty, you are like a wife. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a, and that's a good thing. You okay. need that. I don't need a governor. You need a governor. <laughs> that's, that's my ex-wife's <laughs> use. I'm your governor. You're going to be out of control in six months. Well, it only took three. Hmm. Showed her. Huh? Right. Yeah, showed her. <laughs> <laughs> Shut that Too shit down in three months. telling stories. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> she'd, probably t- she'd probably correct me and say, yeah. it really was two months. You I said. should be corrected because you were straight lying. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it was my story. Was it just your drinking that got you divorced, or was it money, too? It was money, dishonesty, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, the whole thing. I had a separate checking account, you know, for my fun stuff. and What? Yeah, that was that guy. And I'm guessing mm. if people get <laughs> honest, a lot of people that are actively in addiction mm-hmm. or part of that, mm-hmm. they have a separate checking account. Yep. Or sober. You or sober I mean. either. Yeah, yeah. I'm just true. saying it's... You just don't have to be perfect the minute you get sober. Like, right. give yourself lots of time to change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just saying before we started that the first Christmas after I got sober, which I was sober six months, I suppose, or some whatever the math is. I'm not good at math either. Um, I worked at J.C. Penney's and I stole all of my Christmas presents. I've made amends for this since. Mm. But, like, that was sober you know so yeah anyway i'm just full of poor choices yeah. but it all you know it goes up it goes up from there yeah mm-hmm. we, we just rise up mm-hmm. i like to you know keep the bar low <laughs> but it's interesting that you mentioned the talking about like because when i first got clean this was, well I think, let's see it was eight months i think it was i was eight months clean at this point and like i finally got my like judgment of like okay i gotta go to court and like all the things Oh, you owed some money. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just like, and not that I like ever expected to not have to pay it, but it was just like, it was like, man, I did all this work to like bust my butt to pay. I paid up until that point. I think I paid 10,000 up until that point. So like I worked my ass off to get to that mm, point. Did you work your ass off though, Ricky? No, I have a big ass, so I didn't really mm. work it off. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of correct. Did you work your ass off? Like, okay. You still have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why you... Jesus. I know exactly where he was going with that. I, yeah. like, yeah, I do it too. Yeah. <laughs> but it was more of like, but having that happen, it was like, okay, God, like I just paid all this money and like I still have more to do. And it was just like, man, this is never, like, it's like I have to work like this forever because in my mind it was like, this is how it's ever, like I have to do this, that this is my life now I have to have. Three jobs. Yeah. Dang. I had three jobs and trying to like maintain a semblance of a relationship and just all the things and still going to treatment. Are you talking about why you don't work anymore? No. I'm talking oh. about back then. Oh. <laughs> 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 so you don't oh. work. You don't work. I think does his he does his uh DJ he's stuff. Everywhere, yeah. all he's the all time. over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, he's working. Yeah. He's just he doesn't have like a tip like a typical full time job. Yeah. Right. Like he's got his business. And his and your full time daddy. He's an daddy. entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. And he's a full time daddy. Well, Stay home. I mean, is that working? <laughs> <laughs> Of course it is. Of course. It is. Yeah. I'm just I'm just saying what all those shitty men out there have said about at home wives. Mm. You know, and what they, do they say? They they say shitty things. Oh, okay. Because I'm cool with it. I really am I'm enjoying this a lot. So yeah. they can say whatever they want. <laughs> but you were pretty stressed out when you were working. Yeah. But now you're not. Not not as much. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's almost free. like not working. It is kind of a twenty four seven gig, yeah. but it's. Right. But I don't have a boss. Stress. Well, that's because they're older yeah. too. Yeah, you're like if your kids were older. younger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like little Ricky's, he's a lot of little work. Little Ricky's a handful. Yes. Yeah, so that's a full time job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I worked while they were little. That was a lot. So yeah. I took yeah. them to daycare. Now that they're yeah. older, I just, this I is just cool. always no, looked at her like, like she doesn't come to my job and help me. You know what I mean? Like, I go home and I, you know, when we were living, like, obviously we're not together anymore, right. but because I was a shit, <laughs> shitty helper, you know, <laughs> among other things. But, you know, I just, I was just like, it, being at home is like a full-time job and 
I mean, you got a lot of help, you know. <laughs> Okay, hold on. All right, all right. Yep. All right. Oh, I'm just We're not allowed to talk about this. <laughs> we're gonna leave that yeah. be. Uh-huh. You know, we're like, hey, hon, can you can you do the dishes? Yeah, like I'm not at work saying, hey, hon, can you go, you know, raise donations? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just different. It's a it's a full time yeah. job. I'm not saying that it's not. Right. I'm just saying that you you do have help. Help. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Help that you have to micromanage. Do you mow the lawn? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. And I mow the neighbor's lawn, and I help my son with his lawn mowing. Okay. You might be <laughs> a fucking anomaly then. God. You stepped in that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. You stepped right in that one. I'm going to get some shit for this. There's, there's people yeah. that are going to comment. Oh, yeah. Like, it's coming. Adam's <laughs> hates women or something. I understand I that it seems what, like a mind numbing job, right? right? To just keep kids alive, you know, mm-hmm. but it is constant. And because right. there is not a lot of like mental challenging kind of things, yeah, yeah. then um, it just gets kind of stressful and you don't know how to raise kids. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I just am guessing, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, I don't know. It It's like... A different level of stress, but yeah. it's definitely not as stressful. I mean, I mm-hmm. I get it. Like I've I've taken, you know, I had the weekend off, mm-hmm. and then you know she left for the weekend, and I had to be responsible for the kids and mm-hmm. feed and make sure they're alive and keep them entertained. You know, all that clothes like, watch. What are they learning? What are they watching? I blah, mean, we blah, blah. it's the weekend, so so it's not a lot of that. <laughs> You know, we're not doing homework and stuff. We're doing, I'm pretty much like... She's four. Turn the, turn the TV on. I'll play video games. Dude. You know. is Do you think it's... Yeah. If if somebody says, gonna are you going to babysit your kids? Yeah. Like, that drives me crazy. Drives They're yeah, your yeah, goddamn yeah. kids. Yeah. You're going to parent is what that's called. Right. Yeah. I mean... Hmm. It's parenting. It's parenting, but it's different with dad. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot more fun. Matt's the cool one that comes yeah. home all the time mm-hmm. and like goes go karts and all that stuff. And yeah. I just make him do chores. Yeah, let's get out of here and let's go like, you know, mm-hmm. swimming. Yeah. 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 Yes. Get out of here. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's what I love that. Get the kids. Get them out of the house. Take them golfing. Or, or you send her like out of the house. Like go shopping. Hmm. Or do something, you know, go yeah, make antiques. There's or, something about ooh. being <laughs> it home so good. alone. You got to like or, 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 you like junk? Or, like or go get a massage or, yeah. or get a pedicure, manicure. Go do something Man, for you yourself. Guys are, you guys are, <laughs> God, you guys are lame. I think it's more important. I'm just saying the truth. I'm let saying, your significant other be home alone. That's the greatest yeah, gift alone, ever. Yeah greatest it's not like i'm like i think that what you guys are saying is something (laughs) you know oh go get a manicure i'm saying like go junk shopping and stuff what would you rather do i'd rather be home alone (laughs) that's not an option (laughs) okay sorry yeah i'd rather do woodworking or something like that and you guys are all like oh go get a pedicure go get a manicure i'm the the asshole no nobody (laughs) says you're an asshole but the point is that Everybody has their own thing. Pampering. So whatever, yeah, yeah whatever. go take care of yourself. Whatever that is. If you love, like, like Carrie loves to go to thrift stores. Oh, I love Like, so stores. we go to the city. Like, whenever we go on vacation, we hit, and I just sit in the car. I go in there, and, and she's like, it's so great that you just, you're not always on me about getting done. You know, you mm-hmm. just give me room to do this. Getting what done? Like, going shopping. Like, she goes oh. to all these you know, like the Goodwill stores, mm-hmm. she finds all kinds of crazy deals. I thought you meant she the, loves. I it. thought you meant the dishes. If one of these comments ends with "woman," <laughs> I am going to light this place on fire. <laughs> no. Like if I refer to someone as a woman. No, if you're like, do the dishes, woman. Because <laughs> <laughs> my husband did that jokingly, and then one day you're I not got, a fan of that. No. Why? Why would I'm, you be a fan of that? I mean, Why? it's funny. Yeah, it's funny it's when Matt funny. says it, but he's then when my kids are a, saying a, it. Yeah, but he's not. They're not saying it in a a shitty way. Yeah. They're just trying to be funny. It is. Yeah, know your audience, yeah. and so that's funny. Yeah. But mm, sometimes, that's funny. sometimes he's joking in front of people that are like, "What the heck?" You know. 
And mm-hmm. one time I came out to the car, Charlie was probably four, and he goes, where's my water, woman? Oh. And then... Matt looked That's at me and he goes, yeah. Yeah. Ugh, sorry, I'm yeah, done with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only time I've ever said it is like if 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 they like say like a joke and the joke is like a dad joke, like it's like just ridiculous. I'll be like, woman. Yeah, you know that's I mean? good. Like, that's, that's funny. Not, yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 It's not, it's not in a if, derogatory if sense. It's no. just like trying to be like add on to the joke. Like, well, my. Yeah. Come on, woman. Come on. The only time it bothered me was when Charlie said it. Yeah. Well, uh, well, if, it, How, if it's followed by a direction. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you get those dishes done, woman. That mm-hmm. That is not right. You, that's not a good way to do it. No, you're going to be doing the dishes yeah. then, yeah. Or you're going to get one thrown at you. Yeah. yeah. A glass ashtray. Don't they don't I've even have those anymore. Said anything of the sort of like get the dishes no, done. No, none of you moment. have. I know. No. That's what we're saying. Is that's that's what she was qualifying. Is that it'd be like and but you're doing yeah. God damn woman like that <laughs> that that joke has got to die. <laughs> I'm done with that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the yeah. finances of the world. There's just one rule in How did you Don't not know dick. we weren't going to talk about this when you brought up financials? Oh, because of course. we're talking about partnership financials. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ours <laughs> is separate. Oh. Okay. We have separate. Oh. Yep. And yeah. that's, we both agreed to that. Yep. So that way she can't see what you're spending your money on? Or vice versa. Oh. Yeah. So can I just ask why, why you do that? Why you decided that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I just wondered why that's easier. Well, just for because you. we both were. In a spot where that was something that we wanted to be a part mm-hmm. of is just not combining everything because you know when you start a relationship and it's just kind of stayed that way, oh. and it's it's worked really well. Mm-hmm. So you just go have these on bills and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. So yeah. I just well, do you write like, her a check. Yeah. Huh. I give her cash, whatever. In one. Venmo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, oh. I think. You know, in recovery, you know, I remember Chad Bolte saying to me, we were talking about, you know, the two things that a lot of people, you know, he'd been sober for a while. And mm-hmm. he just said that he's seen, you know, where where relapse comes in mm-hmm. is relationships and money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are the two things that usually will trip guys up, maybe gals too. Yeah, but, sex and money, yep. make it comfortable. I said relationships. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, same thing. You have a relationship so you can have sex. Yeah. So, you, yeah. Well, you build it. You build up to it. Yeah. Or you just go up and say. Then you yeah, have a whole wanna... life you just, like, created. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's one of, one of those things where it's, you know, I, early on in recovery, when he was talking to me about that, I became, you know, mm-hmm. wanted it to be. But I, I went through the same thing because I remember when I first sobered up, I had a lot of bills and I had burnt it to the ground. Mm-hmm. And... I remember the time my sponsor just said to me, you just need to lay everything on the table. And one of my best friends was a banker at the time. And, you know, prior to me getting sober, like three weeks before, he said to me, he goes, he said, I can't keep being your banker and your friend both because you're doing shit that, you know, writing checks your ass can't cover. Yeah. And he just, my sponsor said, you just need to lay all this out to him, Mm -hmm. you know, and that was really a hard thing to, to admit. And I did that and he actually helped me, reestablish my credit and he's always been really supportive of me getting you know i got my my credit score was way down there when i was going through a bunch of stuff and now it's way up there yeah you know but it's one of those things that i had to work on yeah it takes you know and it's again that part of it is just building that back up and making it into something you know not just keep tearing it down yeah Mm -hmm. but you when you start to see that go up and you see you know those are the things that you start to see mm-hmm. the the fruits of your labor in essence, you know, yeah. I'm working on this recovery and if it's always, I'm always running up against the wall and it's not, mm-hmm. I'm not getting anywhere. It may not be as quick as I want it to be, but as you get to see that go up and then, you know, you can, and that was probably where I got myself when in recovery is like, People wanted to give me credit cards. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Let me have <laughs> another one. There. You know? Mm-hmm. And, and that, I went through a phase there, you know, yeah. halfway through my sobriety or my recovery that, you know, I, I got caught up in that too. And I had to like pull back and. But when and, it says like your life is unmanageable, um, you know, 
Is that me? I always have my thing off. Anyway, but you, um, you know, life is unmanageable, which means your finances. I think when I first lived with, uh, my bestie, we were like a year sober. We lived in low-income housing. We had to pay 40 bucks a month and got evicted and mm. because we couldn't pay the rent. But then we moved to Fargo and paid 400 a month and never missed a okay. payment. And so it was just like, it was just mm. being unmanageable and finding, you know, having restraint and doing mm. your, opening your mail. That was huge because Oof, it would just yeah. turn all different colors. Mm-hmm. And it would be so overwhelming. I wouldn't know where to start. And I just didn't didn't know, you know. So mm-hmm. to have a sponsor to, like, sit down, walk me through all this. Mm-hmm. And um, somebody I was accountable to. Like, did you just buy a car or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I thought I was you were going to pay that bill back. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, that's a process, too. And just a yeah. I think part of it is also just that. To- you have to learn to, like you said, you you you, you need to learn to restrain, mm-hmm. like not impulsively buy everything. Me? I think there's somebody across out oh. in the hallway. No, it is me. That's your alarm. Weird. What is you? I always have it on silent. What happened? Maybe I won something because it sounded like a game. Yeah, I yeah. Was, you're cool. Playing a yeah. casino. No game. No? <laughs> <laughs> Making money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's just, uh, you know, as you go through it, and just because you're sober doesn't mean you're going to, you know, or that you get clean or you're sober, that, that your financial situation is just going to automatically get better. Mm-hmm. You have to work at it. Yeah. And I think that's where people get caught up in the, and I think the financial mm-hmm. insecurity is, it doesn't mean, you know, a lot of people take that as, I'm going to, now that I'm sober, I'm going to get rich. You yeah, know, no. financial insecurity <laughs> is just that fear of always not being able to yeah, do the true. The fear will no, go away. it's not true. Mm-hmm. So you just lost the goal. You lost just lost goal. me. Lost to get rich? No, no. I'm just saying that in the when you when people take the the wording financial insecurity. Yeah. That that means... Oh, that it means. Yeah. I thought you were just saying that it's not possible. Oh, no, no. Like you get sober and then it just gets mundane? No, no, no. Oh. Not at all. I'm saying that financial insecurity doesn't <laughs> mean crazy. that you're, all your financial problems are going to be over. I'm just here to correct you. Thank you. <laughs> so you are a man. <laughs> I am a man. I am a man of my correction integrity. <laughs> oh, it's oh. deep in here today. It is <laughs> thick. Thick, I say. Didn't happen that way. That's not how it was. <laughs> you thought you were going to get rich right away. You're telling mm-hmm. that story different every time you tell that story. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Yeah, it just keeps getting better. Do you... I keep remembering more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I'm adding stuff. It's I the remember deets I yeah. the details. Do you and your wife have a account together? If I can ask. Yeah, uh, like our. Our current savings, or we have, we put money in a in a savings account that we pay our mortgage through, but everything else is separate. That was really hard to like. That was, I would say, it was the condition, but that was like the discussion of like, mm. all right, if we come back together, we're not doing this again, and we have to keep things separate. There was just a lot of like, and it took me. Oh, she was there for the whole shit mm-hmm. show. Okay. Yeah, but she was like, "We're not doing it." Like she's like, "I I don't trust you." Like, I can't trust you with our finance. Because it used to be, to that point, it was just like, our, I was managing everything. It was, you know, we had one account, making sure everything was getting paid. And, you know, again, every bill got paid. But, you know, you have your separate accounts or whatever mm-hmm. to do your fund. And then she was so like. So you, you didn't spend any of her money? Mm-mm. Okay. Nope. Um, but she was like, like I just can't trust you with my money. And working at the bank. Like, there was just a lot of things. That my money, woman. <laughs> I wouldn't. Hey, 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 hey. Yep. Like that. You know those, those TikToks where it's nope. like the husband says something and then has a little, like, obituary picture? That would have been me. Yeah. For, You'd be for, dead. Yes, just Dead. And then, yeah. I agree. I just think yeah. people are too sensitive, so mm-hmm. it's okay. But it was hard because it was yeah. like when she said that, and I was like, that's the condition? Like, we can't. And it wasn't even so much about, like, you, Not you being able handled to this finance. so much better yeah. than I would have if I would have been in your shoes. Yeah. 
It was hard. Oh, it, man. I, I have just nothing but mad respect for you yeah. and the work that you've done to... Because I, I tell you right now, if somebody would have came talking to me about the money that I spent of my money mm-hmm. or whatever, I would have been mm-hmm. like, I'll dig myself out. Yeah. Like, calm down. Mm-hmm. I, I can feel your wife right now. Just like, <laughs> ah, thank God Adam is not Ricky. <laughs> Uh-huh. I think a lot of people's wives at work are like, thank God that you're not Adam. Uh-huh. Yep. But it was hard. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it was like, I think it was, in a, I think the, maybe it was an ego. I, I don't know what it was. It was just the like, like I did all this work. I got this money paid back. And it's like, all right. And now I can't even, like, it was just more of like, I can't fix what's at home. Like, cause what I thought is like, all right, sweet. I'm sober now. And, like, this is great. Like, my getting things paid back. Like, obviously, these hours are terrible. But, like, I'm feeling better about mm-hmm. myself. And then she was like, okay, well, if we're going to, like, we're going to move back in. We're going to keep doing mm-hmm. this. Well, things have to change. And I was like, okay. And then that was like, I mean, it was obviously several things that we had to do different. But that was one of the biggest ones. And I was like, well, I don't know if I want to do this. And it was like, I don't know if I want to, like, get back together if I can't manage our finances. Like, it was just like a, it was a pride thing. You were thing. offended? Yeah. I was offended that she wouldn't let me, like, manage our our familial or family house anymore like in hindsight can you see where she oh absolutely that was the safe bet but for it her? took me it it took some time like how can you not trust me yeah like i'm doing all this stuff like you thousands. see how much i just paid it's back to it. it's like people who yeah. like are yeah. sober yeah because yeah. they'll be like now i'm they'll sober say, trust me yeah I'm yeah and, and that's what i was like yeah and then they'll, <laughs> okay. but it, if they think like you relapsed or something like that yeah and you're just how offended people get mm-hmm. if they didn't relapse yeah yeah. And they just they lose their fucking minds. Yeah. And I think like, that's how I was feeling. But I think it's where how you're at. How dare you? I've been sober. Yeah. Because I was but, like, I just did all this work. Like, yeah. What? You but know? I think part of that yeah. is like when somebody says that about if mm-hmm. if you if you actually have a good program and you're working it, yeah. somebody thinks that, you know, mm. I, I don't get defensive. Yeah. Somebody mm. said, I don't. I'm just like. You know what? You got to think what you think. Mm, yeah. I get so. Do you? Not anymore. No, that's what I'm saying. What? It's like early on. I early did. on. Yeah, mm-hmm. early on. Be like, what, you are know, you a cop? Yeah. <laughs> or. I'm trying to save my mental health. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. It just yeah. feels like you're, I mean, it's. it feels an, a very adversarial relationship. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, you're the defendant now. And, and you're, you're like dating the prosecutor. You did before. Yeah. You know, and they just like micro- you know, everything. It's just like, you know, to the point where it's a very codependent relationship because it's like, uh, like when moms are like, do you, should you be really hanging out with that person? And it's like, yeah, he's my friend. I'm the bad influence, actually. Right. So I'm, <laughs> I'm the one who's he bad. He shouldn't be hanging out with me. Yeah. <laughs> but it just, you yeah. know, it, and I've seen some relationships like go way south. You know, more because of the prosecu- prosecu- prosecutor type relationship than the person who's actually like trying to be sober. I think you just you get know. sick. You get sick when you're around somebody who's in an addiction. And when they get sober, you got to get help too, you know, yeah. or or like you're just not, yeah. it's not going to go well. You, you know? better like the person that they're going to be when they're sober. Mm-hmm. Because but you haven't met them yet. They haven't but, met them yet. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, how many times have you heard is like, man, he's just an asshole. Mm -hmm. Like, well, he's probably a dry drunk, you know, Mm -hmm. that's workable. Yeah. You know, like it's the same as like, man, I thought life was going to be fucking amazing because I got sober. (laughs) It's the same for the, 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 the partners. Like I thought life was going to get better when you got sober. Right. It's like, no, there's a whole, there's a whole gamut. It's going to get better. Yeah, it's going to get better, but it might not It might not feel like that for a right. while. Yeah. You know, it's a journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And th- I'm sure that's why the micromanaging continues mm-hmm. because of, like, the financial unmanageability, all mm-hmm. of yeah. the things. Well, there's and trust at least issues. when you were drunk, though, you could deal with it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh, they're Shut just being, off. they're just being who they yeah. are. They got to micromanage and they're, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Then you get sober and you're just like, now you see it all. <laughs> you're just like, God, give me some space. <laughs> yeah. Woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <New woman. What? laughs> but yeah, it is important for the other person to also find some help or they will mm-hmm. con- 
base their happiness on this person doing what they need mm. them to do, you know, right. and that just will not happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to get comfortable with that of like, yep, I need like this. She's like, this is what I need to do. And if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm better. I will be better off not living under that or not having to worry about that. Mm-hmm. Under this tyranny <laughs> of <laughs> oppression. You use this hammer on me all the time. Uh, well, I think for me, it would, when I got sober the first time, mm-hmm. you know, I would come home and be like, well, I did all these great things and, and mm-hmm. there would be no recognition for it. Yep. And then it was uh, like, and then her response, which I now it's funnier and shit because it's, yeah. it's how she actually was funny. But she would be like, Oh my God, you're being normal. You're doing what normal people yeah. do. Yeah. You actually took the garbage out. Mm-hmm. You did the, you know. Yeah. And it's I like, went to work well, all five days. I this spent week. all day at work. Oh my God, you should get a award. Uh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I should actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think for me, after I got sober the second time, it was I didn't I didn't put any expectations on what people thought of my yeah. recovery. Right. And I think that's the difference. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't have to go beat my chest mm-hmm. and I'm doing all these great things. It's just like, hey, I'm just trying to survive, man. Right. And and I think there's some peace that comes with that. Mm-hmm. When you're not you don't have that internal fight with, you know, I'm trying to prove how how good I've gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm good anymore. I'm just right. like, if you don't like me, that's your problem. Mm-hmm. I think how you talked how you change talking to your daughter is the ex- biggest example of how your second time being sober yep. was completely different. And, yeah. and it took that guy yeah. to point it out to me, which I still go back to that. I was, that was, there was a reason I went with that on that trip with Tony yeah. to hear that guy put it in perspective for mm-hmm. me. Cause I couldn't see it. Yeah. Right. Cause I thought I was doing all, you know, mm-hmm. I'm sober. I'm awesome. You know, he, that's what he said. You know, he goes, that, all that's about is you. Yeah. Right. All you want to do is feel better about Scott. Cause you were such a shitty dad. And I'm like, who the fuck Which are you to talk to me like that? You know, but it was the do. truth and I yeah. needed to hear it. Yeah. Right. You know, and I think that's the part of it is when we start understanding that, you know, our behavior put people in these situations. Right. You know, you're with Jelsa. You know, you put Jelsa in that situation mm-hmm. because of your behavior. Mm-hmm. Now your your job is to prove to her without telling her right. that you've changed. Right. And I think that's the biggest part of it is if I keep telling you how great I am and how great I'm doing, mm-hmm. I'm probably not doing very great. Right. Yeah. Because my ego is now in the way of mm-hmm. of how good I am. And how versus many times me did just you do that doing before? the work in front of me and getting it done and not looking for recognition and just mm-hmm. saying, yeah. you know, and then somebody coming in and saying, man, you've been doing great. You know, then, then you're mm-hmm. like, Oh, cool. I thank you. That. Yeah, yep. yeah. You know, yep. but yeah, how many empty promises have been? Yeah. Like out they're there used to it. You yeah. know, they're just waiting for us. And then, you know, that's no, another part. I'm really not lying. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm telling the no, truth. Tell the truth. Can't you tell? <laughs> No. No, like, it all oh. looks the same, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and until they have different situations with us mm-hmm. where we haven't either made it about us right. or created another situation, mm-hmm. when they, they need to build on that. Right. You know, we have to build that trust, build that rapport back with mm-hmm. them because we've destroyed it. Yep. You know? And that's what I would say. I don't, I don't tell my daughters I'm not going to drink today. I show them. Right. And that's what it comes down to. You're such yeah. a badass. Thanks. Thanks, Adam. I don't tell people shit. I just... I show them. I just, <laughs> if I, the truth. What's that's the guy with the, the tequila one? If I was this, I wouldn't... Oh. But I, would, I can't think of his name now. Uh, no idea. Don know? Julio? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'm such a badass. <laughs> if, if you are a badass, Adam. Yeah, I know. You look... With your beard, you're a much more badder ass... A better asser. <laughs> yeah. I, you just, yeah. You, people, yeah. I think, don't, yeah do you I'm agree? doing the sneak attack now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what you're up to. <laughs> you look like a safe guy to talk to, <laughs> yeah, but. Like, <laughs> yep, you young 25-year-old you. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely uh, don't look like I'm 42 anymore. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. You don't think you do? No. Okay. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I don't. I think you look thirty six. Sixty three. What? Thirty six. Yeah. Well, how old are you? I'm not sixty three. Oh, fifty three. Forty eight. Okay. Okay, Dad. Okay, <laughs> <He's> good. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> well, 
Whoa! It's Zaddy. Yeah. Zaddy to Zaddy. you. It's Zaddy to you. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's, it's now G Zaddy. Oh, G That's Zaddy. Right. What can we Some talk about? Grandpa, it? yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about it. Let's yeah. talk about it. Oh, yeah. Scott's going to be a grandpa. For yeah. the first time. First time. For the first time. Ever. Mm-hmm. It, only, it took a long time, time apparently, because you're like in your 60s. So it's no, I'm not into my 60s. I'm 59. I thought you said 48. Well, I lied. Wow, she oh. believed you. You actually <laughs> believe me? <it? laughs> no. Thanks. Yeah. 59? God damn, I thought you were 53. No, you keep saying that. <laughs> You've said that for six years now. Remember he was double nickel for like a whole year. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my rap name. Yeah. Double nickels. Me, Lamar, and double nickels. <laughs> The best cents. was when that gal thought, when <laughs> Jelsa thought we said double nipples. <laughs> when when Lenar, Lenar got up there and said something. <laughs> ever. Uh, we were all like in the in the housing hub. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when's what I birth- said? When's your birthday? October 12th. Oh, oh Libra. shit. You're Coming turning up. 60. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm glad you stopped saying Columbus Day, though. I know. I've been corrected several times. <laughs> Triple triple nickels. Five five five. plus five. five. I oh. got it, yeah. I mean, do you want to be triple nipples? T nickels, I'll call myself. T nickels. T nipples. Or seventy five cents. <laughs> Can't say nipples. <laughs> or I could be fifty cent plus twenty five. Oh. Fifty cent plus ten. Plus you can do ten. Me- yeah. Uh, Remember when you used to write boobs on a calculator? Yes. Yeah. That was yeah, great. That was Kids awesome. are, don't get they to don't do that, get that anymore. No, they don't have calculators. Anyway. Do you phone? remember I what I write, said at Thanksgiving? I used to write health. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four, three, seven, seven. <laughs> Which is cool. Oh, it's was funny yeah, that she like that entire down. time had no like she thought that's what it was. Or boobless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember the other part when I was de- dishing oh, the out the meat? turkey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened? Oh, it was a great story. <laughs> well, so we were doing. Tell it. Mm-hmm. We were doing. Please we did tell things. your embellished story. Yeah, th- this yes, is my story. I'm gonna tell it the way Make I want. Good, yeah. <laughs> but we were doing Thanksgiving turk dinner at the uh, housing hub for mm-hmm. all the guys, and there was a bunch of. F5 employees, Ricky mm-hmm. and Chelsea was there. And so I, being the dad, I got to carve the meat. Mm. So I said, yep. everybody like dark meat? I said, Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Bright red. Oh, oh my God. Bright red. Oh, she just turned bright red. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was embarrassed. Yeah, apparently, I was oh. like, oh, "Justin, you like what you like." It in a way where it was well, like, yeah. it was like, "Does anyone <laughs> like dark meat?" We all know you do, Jelsa. <laughs> That's not how I said it. That's how it came <laughs> off. Yeah, but it's just how you interpret. <laughs> Would anybody like any dark meat, Jelsa? <laughs> <laughs> she was and first he just in stared line. at her. <laughs> And we were like, really Scott, loud. you can't do that. She was so red. <laughs> oh, oh my God, was she embarrassed. <laughs> she laughed. She did laugh. Yeah, <laughs> laughed hysterically because <laughs> she was uncomfortable. <laughs> she was Behind like, the tears. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I, you got to admit, it was, it was great. It was she good. just didn't know you well enough no. to right, just no. hit yeah. a She had like a few, like, a few encounters, Scott. but nothing nearly yeah. like yeah. that. Which is why we did it, because like you know we wanted everyone to get to know each other and all that. Well, oh, she's yeah. got to go in arm to every situation. <laughs> she, she is now. She knows now. Yeah. Good. Oh, okay, <laughs> she knows now. Good. She good. Good. I always good. say I'm like Charlie, no. the guard Charlie on Honestly. Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. He got away with everything. You know? Oh. Have you seen that one? Mm-mm. Oh, yes. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll Google that. You should. All right. What's uh, Charlize or Charlize? Charlize Theron. Theron. Mm-hmm. She comes out like she gets fired. From the, what she said at the Christmas party, and then Charlie's doing all these other shit, and they're like, "How come Charlie doesn't get fired?" And like, oh, oh, it's just, just Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Ricky. Yeah, That's it's just Ricky. <laughs> Probably why you have to check it out. Charlie, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he gets away with murder. Yeah, the first one the I didn't know one? what I was doing. I was stressed out. Middle, totally calm. Mm-hmm. Last one does whatever he wants. Yeah, my sister. I'm tired. Honest, yeah. I, that's fine. I feel like their personalities reflect that too. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. the middle one's kind of the the cool one, right? Yeah, totally. Just doesn't laid get back. His... Doesn't. Oh, get... do you know what? I'm so proud of this kid. I'll ha- I have to tell a mom story. Anyway, we went to state baseball, and um, they moved some kids around, and he didn't get to play at all. You know, and so 
my husband is like getting more and more frustrated. And I'm mm-hmm. like, listen, okay, we will make it worse if you do this. And you know how you're like, it's one thing to be happy for your kids. Like if they have a good game or a good hit or whatever, you're happy for him. But I am like proud of him because he made the best of a crap situation. And he was, I just said, how are you doing Sawyer with this whole not playing thing? And he said, um, he goes, I don't know why it's hap- I don't know why it's happening, but I'll know later. And all I know is that I'm going to work really hard. I'm not going to be on the bench next time. So I'm just going to make the best of it. And, you know, every time they walked out of the dugout, he, he was giggling. I mean, he just, like, had a great time in spite of that. And he could have been, like, so Pouty. much yeah. worse. Oh, I was just so proud of him. That is. Yeah. yeah. That's joy. Yeah. That's cool. He's a good That's kid. That's cool. Anyway. Did we find out why he didn't get to play? Um, I don't know if it was, I don't know. He punched I don't know the coach. baseball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, like, it's got, I'm it's just, I don't really know why he just, he just reacted poorly after I knocked him out. <laughs> he didn't take it well. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was one of the younger ones and, mm-hmm. um, it probably was just his time. Yeah. Like yeah. it happens all the time in yeah. sports. There's always, you, and there's that's a game you said. reminded me of that, you know, that parable you always tell about. And then all the, the horses farm. came and broke his leg and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? All the like, whatever. What parable is that? <laughs> you know, the or whatever. Farmer. When did Jesus yeah. talk about breaking legs? <laughs> did Jesus know? Did Jesus know? No, he told parables. Oh, jeez. Didn't the Chinese oh. guy tell a parable? Isn't that a parable? Or is it yes. just keep your yes. religiosity off of you? You were right. Okay. Yes. Anyway, but yes. it reminded me of that when he said, I don't know why it's happening, but it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good kid. We just, is it we good? Never I don't know. Is it bad? I don't know. Yeah. We don't, I don't know, know what good or bad is. Stop <laughs> talking. God. <laughs> Do you guys have a joint account? <laughs> Separate? It's situations that happen to us. I am the prosecutor in this relationship. I can, you, you are. I am. You I, are. I'm the defendant. I, yeah, I feel like F5 is their joint account. Probably. <laughs> That's why it works so well. Yep. You should have seen the picture they put on. on this is our why we chat. have titles. <laughs> and he makes sure I know. <laughs> What's your a title? C- uh, C-O-O. Mm-hmm. It's right below C-E-O. Right? Oh. 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 Like they made that up. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's the boss. Well. God. Yeah. It's it's great. But they put a picture of us. I think in it's the time in <laughs> in the chat of Adam and I sitting when we were on the radio, uh-huh. and then they uh, uh, Rachel put in there, add your own captions. So there's a bunch. Yeah, but Camille oh, had a really good wait. one. She was talked about that we both were being interrogated for, and then she said, "Put your own, use your own imagination what they're being interrogated for." Yeah, blah blah blah. And then something about Adam said, "We got to get out of this," and I said, "Fuck that! These are my people." <laughs> <laughs> and then I started my conversation with, I was a PO for t- 20 years <laughs> in Long. These are my people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, I roll just like that. It is, you know, your son does the exact same face. It was kind yeah. of like, I don't know. It was really when Nick was sitting by and I can't remember what Ricky said, but it was shocking. Mm-hmm. And you both the had that look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He gets that a lot. Yeah. With me. Yeah, that's how we know he's my son. Not me. Oh, that? That's you it. Mean because Nick. our facial expressions are identical. And yeah. yeah. We didn't, I wasn't, like I was gone most of his life. Yeah. And that he still ended up with the same mannerisms and facial expressions. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. You know. He's making way better choices, though. Way, way earlier. Yeah. Better. Way earlier. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's a good rapper. <laughs> Cop. God. Have you tried rapping? No. Oh. I listen to Wu Tang Clan, though. Yep. Ooh, Wu Tang. Life is temporary. Wu Tang is, is forever. forever. I saw that on it's Facebook. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we ordered it off Facebook. <laughs> okay. Why is it on my <laughs> al- algorithm? <laughs> this is everything. <laughs> I saw that on Amazon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where people buy things, guys. Oh I saw it on TikTok. Did you order yeah. it there? I have ordered things off TikTok. I know you have. I am a sucker for targeted marketing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like okay. targeted marketing. Yep. They market stuff I like. Well. Yeah, I and mean, it's impulsive, and it feels yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. It's like going to a casino. Yeah. 
Yeah. But better. But even better. For you. <laughs> yeah. I support you, Adam. All right. Uh, Let's wrap it up. Yep. Do yes. you still smoke in the casinos? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe I'll go. And drink. No, mm-hmm. don't no, need that. Don't need a drink. I don't want that or the gambling. Yeah. Would you you know, I don't smoke? really like smoking, mm-hmm. but I do enjoy smelling it. Mm. Yeah, I don't like cocaine, but I do like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to do cocaine, I would like the smell of it. No, no you wouldn't. Smell. Anywho, okay, wrap it up. <laughs> I would be yeah. correcting everybody a lot faster. I can only imagine. What? Could you I don't imagine? imagine. Janie no. always told me that. He goes, you should never, ever do cocaine. Absolutely not, Scott. I never have, so. Aw. You've but, never done cocaine? No. Good. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I was in law enforcement for 20 years. <laughs> ah! Ah! Let's go. <laughs> Let's dance. I got to dance. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> I feel like the whole movie, the concept of the movie Hangover would be based on Scott doing cocaine. <laughs> so, like, waking Maybe up. Maybe like... F5 goes to Vegas. Nope. nope. And half of it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Or we're at the end like Brad Co- Bradley Cooper when he's like, we really fucked up this time. <laughs> I'd come get you. Because oh, I yeah. want to hear the story. Yeah. And I'd embellish it. Yeah, oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of shared accounts, thank you so much for tuning in on F5 Recovery Radio. This has been an absolute wonderful time. Thank you, Scott, Kirsten, Adam. This is wonderful. Of course, thank you to our sponsors, F5 Project, Ridge Treatment Reentry, H9 Nutrition, Barney's Pub and Eatery, Bach 2 Construction. Yeah, it's been fantastic. <laughs> so, hope you guys have an amazing bear. rest of the day. Don't forget the bear. Oh, yeah. GoAwayBear.com. GoAwayBear.com. That's right. Bear. Oh, my gosh. All right. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> yes. Have a great day <laughs> recovery, y'all. <laughs>